<laughs> since getter read uh Temius and Critias for Atlantis Hancock isn't a scientist however he's a journalist and possibly an an accredited science Scientologist but not an archaeologist or geologist the baggy boy should not fly the plane uh, you, here, here's the thing I've studied uh, paleontology I know a little bit about archaeology because my background is geophysics and I've taken paleontology classes uh, second year or fourth year paleontology I've taken a lot of earth I know about earth <laughs> bacon and greens I know about earth what let me tell you something about something I all of a sudden just light bulbs went click 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 that I understood about our understanding of life on earth the earth the universe especially humanity in general okay salute so having become a geophysicist with a minor in mathematics honors program cooperative blah 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 papers published not much because I didn't last that long I did 10 years all right When it comes to paleontology, our understanding of the universe and our time here, there is one major fucking assumption that everything else is based on, right? And that's the law of uniformitalism. I can't even pronounce it. I have a hard time pronouncing these isms, right? Which is basically the law that says we assume, we assume that the rate of change i.e time occurred at the same rate in the past as it does now so all of our assumptions regarding our timeline understanding your comes self understanding your universe and all this jazz right is based on the assumption that time is absolute the rate of change of time is consistent throughout life of the universe matter matter right and as we talked about earlier in the stream time is basically just uh, a property of matter right and time is really the rate of change change right so if this assumption that we make in paleontology geology uh, astronomy astronomy archaeology and all this shit right the sciences if that assumption does not hold then something's it might have a ripple effect right it might have a it will have a serious ripple effect if the rate of time rate of change is not the same right and it's not because we know time is influenced by matter right and by speed right so if time is just a property of matter which is gravity and speed that's how you can control time by gravity and speed that's how you control time right there's Sal is <laughs> finding things he usually is not allowed here oh he's stuck <laughs> are you stuck <laughs> there he goes right then you know what yeah Sal, how's it going you want to come up here come on then maybe 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 our understanding of things is not what we thought hi what is it are you doing good yeah <laughs> there you go that's right fun fun <laughs> 